Hey, it's Chris, and today we've got something a little bit different. It's an unboxing video, which doesn't happen all that much on the channel unless I'm really into something, or unless something is brand new, which is the case today with the Insta360 ONE X Apple Bundle. Along with the unboxing, I'm also gonna give you some of my first impressions as well, but this isn't your average run-of-the-mill retail version of the Insta360 ONE X. Actually, it's the Apple Store exclusive bundle. Now, just in case you're not super familiar with the Insta360 ONE X, it's a 360 camera that basically shoots in every direction, front, back, up, down, everywhere. It also has amazing stabilization, which they call flow state stabilization. And I would say it's widely considered to be the absolute best 360 camera for consumers out right now. Personally, I haven't been this excited about getting my hands on a new piece of tech for a very long time. And these days, it takes a lot to really impress me like this. As somebody who lives and breathes video, and as somebody who makes a living off of making video content, I'm super excited to be able to just shoot everything and then reframe it later in post, in post-production, to get the exact shot that I want. And the thing is, the One X makes that super easy. Now, we're gonna get to everything that comes in the box, but I do wanna point out that this does come with a 32 gigabyte SD card, so you're literally ready to go right out of the box. First things first, you get some stickers, which who doesn't love those, and a quick start guide, which is definitely useful. Underneath that, you've got three small boxes. One box contains a protective pouch and a lanyard, which I'm definitely gonna use without the lanyard, just to protect the lenses when it's packed up or charging. I have to point out that it's brilliant that you can still charge your One X with this cover on. That's a small detail that's just super on point. In the other two small boxes, you get some cables to connect your One X to your computer and also to your phone. And I can definitely appreciate the 90 degree angles of these connectors, which means you don't have cords sticking way out when everything is connected. Next up, you'll see that there's a couple of batteries included. These aren't two extra batteries because you're gonna pop one into the camera and you'll actually have one extra. I do really wish that they'd included the extra battery charging station in this package so you could easily charge both batteries at the same time. So you might wanna pick that up anyways just if you're gonna be shooting extensively. This is the bullet time handle slash folding tripod. So if you want, you can use this handle to spin the camera over your head while you're centered in the middle. It's not a feature I'm probably ever gonna use, but I will definitely constantly be using the tripod. So I'm very glad that that's included. The tripod legs feel kind of cheap just because they're plastic, but the positive side of that is that they're nice and light. The metal on top though, that feels very solid and super sturdy. On top, there's a standard quarter inch tripod mount, so you can either attach the selfie stick, which we're about to check out, or mount the camera itself directly to the tripod. The selfie stick that comes with this is a nice piece of hardware. It's made from a sturdy, light metal, it's got a grippy handle, and you can rotate and twist it to make it either expand or contract, and then lock it in place. Normally, I would tell you that I hate selfie sticks, normally. I don't like to use them and I kind of cringe and feel like it's a little bit awkward when I see somebody else using one out in public. But for this, I'm gonna make an exception because there's a really cool either software or just the way they position it trick where it makes this disappear. The selfie stick does not appear in videos or photos, which is cool. I really like the floating camera effect. The One X camera itself is sleek and well-designed. It looks really good. Much, much better than its predecessor, if you ask me. It's made from a somewhat, almost slippery and smooth material, and it's definitely light, but it stays away from feeling cheap. Actually, it feels as nice as it looks, and I would say it looks much better than all of its rivals. There's a little circular screen on front, so you know what mode you're in, and also so you can see the battery life. And there's just a simple two-button setup for switching between modes and taking photos and videos. You got your USB port on one side, you got your battery door on the other, you got a couple of mics, you got a status light, and then of course the tripod mount down on the bottom. So I haven't had much time at all yet to really play with this and get to know it and put it through its paces, but I can tell you that so far, I've been very impressed. I mean, it's just something that I see laying around and I wanna go use it, or even that I'm thinking about when I'm not using it, like how could I use that? It's really, really exciting. And I should add too, the people that I show this to are super impressed because 360 stuff's been around for a while, but not everybody has been very exposed to it yet. So the first time somebody sees this and they use the app and they look around like whatever you've recorded, 
It's pretty cool. I love all the different creative shots that I can get with this camera that I can't with others because either you can see everything and you never miss a shot or it just goes places where other cameras can't. So you can stick it inside of a Christmas tree and look around or you can simulate a drone shot or you can make it look like you've got a cameraman following you around everywhere even though it's really just you with this invisible selfie stick. And I have to say so far, I'm really impressed with the face and object tracking. It seems to work really well. You have to get to know how is it gonna pan and stuff to make like a perfectly synced up shot, but that's something you can learn and it's not hard to do and it really does work really well. Now, as nice as the hardware seems so far, I've found that it's really the software that really brings this thing all together and makes it feel like a really sleek and well-polished and usable and enjoyable package. It does take a little bit of time to get the hang of, but once you've mastered it and there's plenty of tutorials and resources out there, then once you get comfortable with it, it feels really intuitive. So if you wanna see a full review from me on this camera, on these accessories, basically this Apple bundle, let me know down in the comments or leave me a like on this video or just keep an eye out for sample footage coming from this camera in all of my upcoming videos because I can promise you this, this thing is going with me everywhere. So do I recommend this bundle? Absolutely. Do I wish that they had included that dual charger as part of the bundle? Absolutely. Is it otherwise basically perfect? Absolutely. Should you have subscribed to this channel and hit the like button by now? Yeah, like yesterday. Let me know what questions you guys have. Don't forget you can follow me. I'm at Daily Tech, spelled daily, T-E-K-K -K, on Instagram and Twitter and all over the place. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Later.